Where most camera drones require a pilot to take control of flight sticks to navigate through space, Skydiocopters are all about the fully autonomous operation. The company is back with a modest but welcome update to the Skydio 2, replacing the old drone with the Skydio 2 Plus. The 2 Plus retains all the basic features of its predecessor. It has the same all-around obstacle avoidance system, one that makes it practically crash-proof and is more about following you on its own than manual flight controls. The basic version doesn't even come with a remote, you'll need to buy the drone with an accessory bundle if you want one. The Skydio 2 Plus makes a couple of minor changes to the flight hardware for better connectivity, which is welcome if you're using it in areas where communication between you and the drone is spotty. Antennas are located on the front rotor arms and fold down into the drone for storage. The Skydio 2 Plus drone has landed at CES 2022 with some relatively minor hardware upgrades over its predecessor, but one prominent software feature could be a big deal for amateur pilots. One of the most challenging things for non-professional drone flyers to master is making seamless aerial camera moves around points of interest. But Skydio's new keyframe feature, which will be available on both the Skydio 2 Plus and the Skydio 2 model it replaces, promises to make this much more accessible than current solutions, like waypoints or subject tracking. Videographers use keyframes to define start and end points for moving sequences, along with any essential frames in between. Waypoints let you achieve a similar function on drones, but Skydio's keyframe feature promises to produce smoother results when you're making complex moves around subjects. Rather than marking waypoints on a map, you fly your Skydio drone to a keyframe moment in the air, save its location along with the camera angle you want, and move on to the next one until you've finished a sequence. Once you've chosen the speed, you want it to fly at. The Skydio drone will automatically fly between the points to produce the video, while using its six-camera obstacle avoidance to stay safe. It certainly sounds like a simpler and more versatile alternative to waypoints and subject tracking, which are fine on their own, but rarely combine well. DJI fans will hope the company creates something similar for drones like the DJI Mavic 3, which still has its undercooked feature set out following a rush launch in December 2020. Beyond the new keyframe features, the hardware updates to the Skydio 2 Plus are relatively minor. There are two main improvements to the current Skydio 2, it now has 5G HD Wi-Fi connectivity, which boosts its range to 6 km, 3.7 miles, plus a new battery that slightly improves the drone's flight time to 27 minutes. The Skydio 2 Plus is on sale now in the US and Canada, with prices starting at $1,099, around £800, $1,500 Australian dollars. The image quality offered by consumer drones has significantly improved in recent years, with the recent DJI Mavic 3 coming with a vast four-third sensor. But camera moves are just as crucial for the overall look of a video, and this is where Skydio's keyframes feature promises to improve the experience for amateurs. Keyframes appear to sit in between current automated options like DJI's quick shots, pre-scripted drone movements, and waypoints, which let you define a flight path for your drone on a map. Unlike the latter, Skydio's new feature gives you a preview of each keyframe because its approach is based on performing a dummy run around your chosen subject and marking all the necessary shots. The other benefit of this approach is avoiding the slightly amateurish look of popular automated drone moves, like Helix or Rocket. Thanks to their one-button activation, these are easy to pull off but are a little too robotic and simplistic for pros. Professional flyers will still likely rely on their manual flying skills rather than any automated drone modes. But for amateurs who'd like to combine several drone moves in one shot, Skydio's keyframes could be a popular new feature, if one that's still only available in the US and Canada for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, you must press the like and subscribe button and let us know your valuable feedback by commenting below the video.